Well, good afternoon from the Yorkshire Wolds, God's own country. Three of us today, myself, Hiya. Bill's here, Maybe. Richard's here, Maybe like his EB alert just went off, it's all going off. Um, so we've got about a 10 mile route today and we're going to be camping somewhere new. We did walk through it in January, if anyone wants to see that video. So it's an old, abandoned, medieval village. Which, if it's medieval, it would be abandoned, I guess, but... So yeah, we'll have to see what today brings, but the weather's turned out lovely again for us. We can't wait to get another camping. Onwards. Well, we're a couple of miles in now, a couple of miles away from Friday Thor, and then we're heading towards Thixendale. Whew, it's hot, it's very hot, but it's lovely to be out on the walls. As Richard's just said, it's very worldsy. Very worldy, Very worldy, very worldy Phil. Very worldy. Very worldy. Right, onwards. Did you see the tractor, John? Oh, it was great tractor. We like tractors. <laughs> you like tractors, Richard? <laughs> Richard like a tractor. So, we're just outside of Thixendale at the minute. We've just stopped in here for a bit of shade, haven't we? Very sweaty. Very sweaty and Scottish. Uh, yeah, it's been a, it's a lovely part of the country, this, to be honest, and considering it's on my doorstep, it only takes me about 20 minutes to get here. It's been a good walk. Although walking through them valleys is a bit like an inferno. Must be a good, what, 26, 27 degrees maybe? Easy. So, we're gonna have a little break here. And then, only maybe another two or three miles to where in Percy. So, we'll see you on the way. Just at the 11 mile mark. Just turn the corner, and there's Ware and Percy. So, just on our way down now. Time for a sit down. Well, 
Well, we're all pitched up. Cider on the go. The uh, Pioneer 2, giving it another outing again. That's Tucker's quilt again. Big green mini. Nice and synthetic. Synthetic. Can't speak. Heat stroke. I think I might need it. Sweat loads today. It's been so warm. Rich is in his Alterplex again. All kitted out. All kitted out. And Mr. Jackson has got a new tent. New one. You want to tell us about it? It's the Big Sky International Chinook One. So it's uh, freestanding. As you can see, nice free crossing poles, semi geodesic. You can actually leave that pole at home and just have the two, save a couple of hundred grams. Uh, Plenty of nice guiding points on the poles, which you could wrap around to make it stronger. So yeah, 1.4 kilos with a crossing pole and 1.2 without. Let's have a sneaky look. Oh, very nice. So, this is where we've decided to, to pitch up. One, because we're so tired. Two, because there was grass. And I think that was about it. So, after we've uh, finished messing, I think it's time to get tea on the go. Uh, number three, it's getting dark. Number three, it's getting dark. Or is that just me when the That's because you've got your sunglasses on. In a bit. Right, it's time for tea. Actually used to be part of the trip, so, so yeah, as Rich just said, oh, sorry. <laughs> this this used to be part of the church. This used to be part of the church, yeah, Rich. Used to, you, used to be part of the church. No, so I've got me 900 mil titanium ever new pot and speed to burner under there. That's pretty much what I use all the time. What have I got? What you got? The same. Same. Same stuff. Same. Do you know why? Costs are good. Costs are good and they're the best. What have you got? Me? Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> not Nothing. Of, you're not part of the Sidewinder gang. No. Part of the anymore. Rich is out. So I've got a summit sweet meal today. So we're going to have that. And I'm very, very hungry considering the last time I ate was probably about half past nine this morning. So, yeah, getting hungry now. Time for tea. You've got to Well, good morning. It's about 20 past five. 26 minutes past five in the morning. Um, I don't think we're going to get any kind of sunrise. It's more a scene from Thriller and all that. All cogged out, misty. Normally put time lapses in of like on the night and then the day, but because it was in the valley, there was no some set as such because it set over that hill. So you didn't really see it. But yeah, so now it's the age old debate of can I be bothered to boil some water for my porridge? But we'll see. But yeah, it was a good night, a good camp. Them two lazy bones are still in the shelters. Are you awake? Oh, uh, we're all asleep and we're leaving him alone. Well, yeah. What to do next?